ladies and gentlemen, these are the biggest awards, the inaugural edition. So let me once again welcome all of you. Good evening, very warm welcome to all of you here to the inaugural edition of Exchange for Media's MarTech India Awards 2021. These awards aim to recognize companies and transforming the landscape and possibilities of marketing through technology. The nomination for Open for Technology is technology solution providers, vendors, agencies, brands, consultants, client-side marketers, as well as working towards making MarTech more effective. My name is Khyati Kawa, and I will be the host through this evening with all of you celebrating the MarTech. And now I would request, we have with us uh, Mr. Naval Ahuja. I'd like him to come forward for the a very warm welcome to you, Mr. Huja. Thank you, Khyati. And a very, very warm welcome to all of you who joined for this inaugural edition of uh, Exchange for Media uh, MarTech Awards. As some of you who are part of the industry might know, this initiative of uh, engaging uh, with the marketing technology in industry through marketing MarTech practices was started by us pre-COVID in 2019. I remember 2019, August was our first uh, initiative on MarTech. And, uh, you know, we all talk about digital, we all talk about digital advertising technology and how the world around us has become so digital and tech focused. What has also increasingly happened is that over the last three, four years, the roles of uh, a marketing a brand manager, a CMO and the CTO have kind of become very uh, joined together. I recall in 2019, when we did the first uh, MarTech conference, a large number of brands uh, uh, said to us that uh, their role uh, these days is incomplete without significant intervention from uh, a CTO or a CIO. And many presentations at the conference were joint initiatives of a marketer and a CTO, uh, because both of them complete the entire uh, sort of uh, approach towards data analytics and marketing and technology M marketing has become so dependent upon uh, data and uh, analytics and technology today i was reading a story about how droga 5 the world famous uh, advertising agency started by david droga many years back was acquired by accenture and uh, recently uh, droga was uh, david droga was appointed the ceo of accenture interactive which is many times bigger than uh, Droga 5. And the fact remains that a lot of advertising agency, which were, which have been working with brands, with marketers, are now also finding themselves being completely sucked into this uh, technology ecosystem of uh, data analytics and, uh, uh, and, and the associated tools. So here we are uh, with our first edition of uh, MarTech Awards. Uh, last year, uh, while, uh, you know, COVID was in full force, we started our uh, this is the only initiative which we sort of uh, did regularly under a banner called MarTech Fridays. We have uh, our colleague uh, and our president, Mr. Sunil Kumar, to thank for this. It was his idea to create a series of initiatives. And I think that initiative ran for, if I'm not mistaken, uh, four and a half months. We did uh, almost 20 or 22 MarTech Friday initiatives where we covered almost every, every topic uh, under the sun. And uh, as I said, uh, MarTech has become so synonymous with uh, you know what what's happening in the tech space. This year, as you will know uh, from the awards, we have broadly three categories. One is technology providers, the other is for industry and people, and third is for use of MarTech. So pretty much they cover a large number of uh, initiatives that are happening in this domain or the companies or, and people who are behind these. Uh, some of the categories which got a lot of traction uh, naturally are related to AI, uh, best use of artificial intelligence, best use of MarTech for social or influencer marketing. Influencer marketing, as we've always seen, all seen in the last uh, year and a half has really taken off. In fact, as Exchange for Media, we launched a fresh event on influencer marketing, which is taking place on uh, 17th of uh, this month, uh, virtually again. We have a day long conference followed by awards. And in the first year that initiatives managed to get almost 600 plus entries. So that tells you the kind of uh, 
kind of uh, money attention that influencer marketing marketing is gaining the third category that we've seen a lot of traction this year is the uh, is best use of martech for consumer engagement so these three broad buckets in which we've got a lot of traction naturally a lot of work is going in in those categories and as we uh, you know move into the uh, next year we will look to expand these categories cover more work martech is an area where uh, significant and very rapid expansion is happening in in terms of the work that is being done so every few months you need you see new kind of work coming in and uh, our aim is to naturally uh, cover a lot of those initiatives look at uh, and recognize uh, the best work and best practices that are happening in the domain so with that thank you again uh, for joining us i also like to thank all the jury members who uh, gave us uh, their time uh, to judge the entries starting especially with abhay singhal uh, the chair of the jury and co-founder of inmobi he is right now in the us so he's not joining here live but i'm told there is a recorded video from him we kept him awake whole night almost the entire night on the uh, jury day uh thank you to all the other jury members who spent time and some of whom uh, we are who are here and uh, my congratulations to all the winners uh, and i look forward to enjoying the evening and felicitating the winners thank you so much kyati back to you thank you so much mr ahuja so you've just heard from the co-founder of exchange for media group mr ahuja taking you through the first inaugural martech awards the categories what we are expecting and of course the awards ladies and gentlemen before we move forward we will take you through a short audio on the awards and the process can we have the audio visual please please Welcome to the inaugural edition of the Exchange for Media Martech India Awards 2021 and one of its kind virtual commemoration. The awards aim to recognize companies and people who are transforming the landscape and possibilities of marketing through technology. The nominations were open for technology companies, technology platforms, solution providers, vendors, agencies, brands, consultants, client side marketers, individuals working towards making martech more effective. The nominations were received under three broad categories namely technology providers, industry and people and use of martech. The grand jury went through all the shortlisted entries and chose the winner of the gold, silver and bronze awards in each sub category. The Exchange for Media Martech India Awards 2021 proudly presents the jury. The jury was led by Mr. Abhay Singhal, co-founder, Inmobi Group and CEO, Inmobi Marketing Club, and it consisted of some of the biggest names of the industry who are respected and have in-depth knowledge and understand the role technology plays to make marketing efforts more effective. Abhishek Joshi, CMO, MX Player. Adrian Watkins, Growth and Marketing Director, Ad Colony. Amit Rela, Director and Co-Founder, M Filteret. Ashwin Velode, Partner, Deloitte Digital. Nitin Thapa, India Lead, Growth Markets Oracle. Swati Bhattacharya, Chief Communication and Brand Officer, Bajaj Group. Sai Narayana, CMO. Aisa Bazaar. Tarun Jha, Head of Marketing, Shkoda. Anil Chilla, Chief Digital and Data Officer, L'Oreal India. Atin Chhabra, VP Marketing, Schneider Electric. Gaurav Mehta, CMO, Zupi. Nachiket Dheo, Head of Sales, India, Double Verify. And Tanvir Singh Oberoi, Director, Agency Partnership and Sales, Google. Exchange for Media Martech India Awards and the jury board congratulates all the winners. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we would like to see 
Mr. Abhay Singh, co-founder in Mobi, CEO in Mobi, to share his thoughts on and his perspective. Let me begin by welcoming you all and congratulating all the participants and the winners. Unfortunately, I'm unable to be with you live due to time zone challenges. However, I hope to be able to share my excitement and communicate my appreciation through this message. From the chair of the jury, I had the opportunity to witness some really remarkable work all around. Thank you all very much for your efforts in pushing the boundaries of what is possible. Having created InMobi over the last 14 years, I've had an incredible opportunity to witness and contribute to the phenomenal growth of MarTech in the world. Marketing and advertising today sits at a perfect confluence of creativity, technology, and analytics. MarTech is truly democratizing what is possible, and it is powering the new abilities for the brand to connect to its consumers. In an extremely cluttered and noisy world, it has become even more important to be extremely precise and effective in the way we communicate. Thanks to all the platforms and the solutions that are available to us, marketers can be the true entrepreneurs in reimagining the present and planning the future and bringing the meaningful impact to their businesses. It was an incredible chance for me to witness and see some of these examples up close. Members of the jury and, and I had an incredibly tough time to select the winners amongst equal and to ensure that every innovation every effort and every outcome is duly considered and rightly represented. I would like to thank all members of the jury for supporting me in this extremely difficult process and would again like to congratulate all the winners. In the end, I would like to conclude by congratulating Anurag and the entire Exchange for Media team for organizing this much needed event to highlight the creativity and impactful work in this space. The more we celebrate the winners and their achievement, the better it is for our industry. As a country that is growing at its seams, we need to find solutions to our own problems and celebrating the unique Indianness in our solutions is a great beginning. So with that, thank you very much uh, to, to, to all of you and congratulations to all the winners and, 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 and carry forward with the great work. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Mr. Singhal, firstly, for sharing your thoughts while sitting away. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the moment you all have been waiting for. But before starting with the awards night, of course, we would like to request all of you to create the buzz as this is the inaugural edition of the MarTech India Awards. So use the hashtag E4M MarTech India Awards, tweet to us, put out your winning shots in, on Instagram or any other social media platform but join us in the celebration. The jury, of course, had the grueling task of crowning the winners from a marketplace so vibrant, relatively new and full of innovations and evolving with each passing day. The jury, as we mentioned, was an independent panel of professionals from across industry categories. We are thankful, of course, to all our jury members for giving their precious time and valuable inputs in the judging process. And here, ladies and gentlemen, we have with us one of our jury members who's joined us live. And it is a pleasure to welcome Mr. Nitin Thapar. Hi, hi, Kathy. How are you doing? Very well, sir. Very warm welcome. Thanks. Thanks a lot. I really appreciated the time that we spent on the jury. Uh, the jury process was very involved involving and complex because the contestant really went above and beyond. And as Abhay said, right, MarTech is the cusp uh, where it is giving people that flexibility and the options to go above and beyond and really make a difference uh, to the world. While we deliberated on a lot of cases and decision-making was very difficult, but we looked at all pros and cons and it was definitely a, a very involving and invigorating discussions with uh, fellow jury members. 
finally, congratulations to all the winners and whoever did not make the cut, uh, in no way their entries were any lesser. We just had to make a decision. Thank you. Thank you so much, Mr. Thabar, firstly, for being part of this independent jury panel and for being here and giving your encouraging words. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, to start with our first MarTech India Awards 2021, we're going to start with the first broad category, which is technology providers. We're going to start with our first category under it, which is India founded MarTech Vendor of the Year. I hope all of you are ready and excited. Like I've mentioned, do not forget to create the buzz online. We are talking about MarTech, of course. We need to create the buzz online with the hashtag E4M MarTech India Awards. Let's see who is taking away the India-founded MarTech Vendor of the Year Award. Can we have the AV, please? Our first broad category of the evening is Technology Providers. The first category in the segment is India-founded MarTech Vendor of the Year. The special jury mention award goes to And the gold award goes to Thank you, Exchange for Media. On behalf of the entire Webbing Age team, it's a pity we're not able to walk up to the stage to hold up the trophy. We're really excited about the impact we're making with all of our clients and partners. The Matic Awards are a great platform to bring these ideas to the mainstream. I'm sure we'll together drive a lot of action for more brands to engage better with their customers retain them and grow profitably. Cheers to the entire E4M team for having pulled this off. Thank you. So many, many congratulations to the winners. And yes, we do miss the thrill of being around each other and walking up on the stage. But well, the circumstances are such that we stay in the safety of our homes and still create the impact. So with that, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to move forward to our next category, which is Marketing Automation Vendor of the Year. Let's have a look at who the winner is in this category. Next in line is Marketing Automation Vendor of the Year. And the special jury mention award in this category goes to And the gold award goes to Hi everyone, I just want to express my heartfelt gratitude from Team Web Engage to the E4M team for organizing such a spectacular award and event which is the E4M Martech 2020. Uh, it also gives me immense pleasure to see that marketing technology is finally coming of age in India and uh, brands are realizing the importance of retention marketing. So we'll continue to help scale brands and educate them more on the retention marketing space. And uh, thanks once again to the entire team for recognizing Web Engage's efforts in building out a company to help brands grow faster. Thank you. Thank you and many congratulations to the winners here. With that, ladies and gentlemen, I hope all of you are already tweeting using the hashtag E4M Martech India Awards. If you haven't yet, then start it right away. While I welcome one of our jury members here, Mr. Anil Chila, Chief Digital and Data Officer L'Oreal, who will talk about the jury process and advice to the industry. Can we have the audiovisual piece, please? please? It's, it's very interesting. I, I must say, you know, the kind of entries that we've seen, um, you know, obviously, you know, some good, some very good and some not so. Uh, and uh, I mean, what's what's really uh, for me uh, good to see as a marketer is the evolution that we are seeing in, uh, uh, in, in, in this space, right? In the MarTech space. So the uh, quality of entries is is really really good. So I really you know enjoyed going through some of the uh, you know uh, the uh, the case studies that were entered in here, 
and uh, i think uh, as a part of the jury had quite a bit of uh, discussion around which one should be the ones that should that sort of are a notch above and which ones aren't so really interesting yeah i'll say on on, on an average you know i think uh, really really uh, uh, good uh, in terms of you know the depth and the quality and the effort put in by a lot of the uh, entrants in here uh having said that you know i think we did see close contests in a couple of categories uh but then you know in others you know there was a very clear difference between the winner and the rest right so uh yeah i'll say it depended on the category um, and and uh, yeah so some of these actually had you know uh, very very close uh, uh, let's say contest well done i think keep up the good work uh, you're showing why you know uh, india is you know sort of uh, uh going or evolving so fast and maturing uh, so fast within the martech space right and uh, i think you are the examples of that for the uh, people who've not won i think uh, i'll i'll say uh, you know uh, you made a good effort having said that i think uh, you know the difference between you and the winners was not a lot uh, there are a few areas where you know uh, the concepts the ideas and the benefit and then the actual impact you know if 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 you know these three four areas you know that uh, uh, that they can you know sort of further work on and then you know i'm sure they will be on the podium next year Thank you thank you so much mr chilla for those kind words and with that ladies and gentlemen we are moving to our next award which is enterprise martech vendor of the year let's take a look at who the winner is in this category our next award is for enterprise martech vendor of the year and the gold award goes to Hi everyone. Uh, my name is Aditya Bhamati Pati. I'm the founder CEO of First Hive. First Hive is a full stack customer data platform that helps consumer marketing companies take control of their customer data to drive delightful customer experiences. Uh, I would like to thank uh, the jury uh, uh, for uh, nominating us for the Enterprise Martech Vendor of the Year award. Uh, you know, thank you Exchange for Media for organizing this wonderful event. and uh, i'd like to thank uh, our customers our, our entire first time team for making this happen and uh, it means a lot to us coming at this juncture as a young platform company that's uh, uh, in our early days of global growth so thanks again thank you and many congratulations to you i hope all of you are sending out your best wishes to the winners and the winners are taking those uh, victory shots and tweeting using the hashtag #e4mmartechindiaawards moving forward we'd like to call in another jury member who is mr gorov mehta cmo zupi to join us and tell us his views on the judging process martech uh, like people people's understanding of martech ad tech i'm like you know the lot like fancy terms flying around i'm like you know that that can go from like you know from an expert level to to a novice level and there's a lot of like space in between there's a lot of gray area so till the time somebody doesn't come up with a platform where the uh, the right view um, of of uh, martech is being discussed and appreciated and honored um people will have like you know 10 different views of what we are discussing about so i think what exchange for media has done in order to bring a uniform understanding of martech is uh, admirable and much needed um so so that's why i i, I liked uh, this this particular um uh, award i think it's much needed i think uh, in a in a couple of categories it was very unanimous i think the the winners kind of just uh outshone everyone else i mean their understanding and deployment of martech or what they're building um 
uh, was way superior to others. And I think as a jury, all of us were on the same page almost instantly. On a lot of others, I think there was a lot of subjectivity because of our own individual experiences uh, of how we looked at the case studies. And that's where I think we needed a little bit of cajoling from each other. But uh, I think uh, it was quite interesting. There's a lot of places we were absolutely, absolutely unanimous. And there were a couple of places where we were not in line with each other. But then that's that's the fun. I mean, like, you know, we were looking at things uh, from our own point of view and yet trying to understand what the other person's point of view on the same point was. So so it was quite interesting, especially the one where we were uh, just, just uh, getting into a discussion with each other where we didn't agree with each other. I think that taught us much more than the unanimous choices. Just the fact that like people are trying their hand at like you know becoming a better growth professional, better marketer by uh, using uh, what Martech has given us is, is a win, uh, win win for me. So the color of the medal or the, the positions really don't like you know the sift the winners versus the also ranks for me. The fact that they are starting to experiment with this is like the single biggest uh, takeout for me because. The interesting bit, bit wasn't that uh, was that uh, we didn't only see entries from digital businesses. There were a lot of like offline businesses also to hail that were coming in, and that is so heartening for us to see uh, that like people who are not necessarily uh, uh, born into the whole technology era are also trying to embrace technology. So I think I'm like you know uh, there's a lot of inspiration to take um, from from people who have participated more from people who are not digital uh, natives. Thank you so much, Mr. Mehta, for those very encouraging words and putting the context of the judging process as well. Moving forward, we are going to our next category, which is marketing analytics or reporting vendor of the year. Let's take a look at who the winner is in this category. Next, we have Marketing Analytics or Reporting Vendor of the Year. The Gold Award in this category goes to Hi, I'm Sanjit Rasul, General Manager for India, Southeast Asia and ANZ at Appspire. First of all, I'd like to congratulate Exchange for Media for doing an amazing job over the years for this ecosystem around this region. I would like to thank uh, the entire jury for uh, choosing AppSwire and awarding us as the marketing analytics and the tech stack provider for the for the year. Uh, this is really a proud moment for me and my team. Um, I express my sincere gratitude to the jury uh, and all the decision makers. Uh, last but not the least, I would uh, also like to express my gratitude to the entire team at Angel One, uh, especially uh, Prabhakar Sir, Dinesh Bhai and the entire team for showing amazing amount of faith and trust on AppSwire, our products and services. This wouldn't have been possible uh, without the patronage and support that we have had from you. Thank you for choosing us uh, and partnering with us over the years. Thanks a lot, Exchange for Media, once, once again. Thank you. Many congratulations to the winners. With that, we're moving to our next subcategory. They say content is the star, and why not? These days, content is the star of every marketing strategy. Well, which is why our next subcategory is Content Marketing Tech Vendor of the Year. Let's take a look at who the winner is in this category. Next up is the important award for Content Marketing Tech Vendor of the Year. And the gold award goes to... Many congratulations to the winner Zirka here. With that, we're moving forward to our next category. Ladies and gentlemen, do not forget, it is uh, the inaugural edition. So we'd love for you to help us create the buzz online as it is the MarTech Awards. And of course, if you're winning it, do not forget to share the winning shots and let us join in the celebration by using the hashtag E4M MarTech India Awards. With that, we're moving on to the next set of awards. Coming up next is the category Emerging Vendor of the Year. Let's take a look at who the winner is.
next up is the emerging vendor of the year less than three years old on july 31st 2020 and the gold award goes to Once again, many congratulations to the emerging vendor of the year. Moving forward to the next category, which is MSME Martech vendor of the year. Let's take a look at who the winner is. Our next award is for MSME Martech vendor of the year. The gold award in this category goes to Thank you, Exchange for Media, on behalf of the entire Webbing H team. It's a pity we're not able to walk up to the stage to hold up the trophy. We're really excited about the impact we're making with all of our clients and partners. The Matic Awards are a great platform to bring these ideas to the mainstream. I'm sure we'll together drive a lot of action for more brands to engage better with their customers, retain them, and grow profitably. Cheers to the entire E4M team for having pulled this off. Thank you. Thank you and many congratulations to the entire team of Web Engage. Many awards taken already and let's see if they're going to win more. But till then, we're moving forward to our next category, of course, is the biggest one. We're talking about social media. We are on social media all the time. Here it is, the social media tech vendor of the year. Let's take a look at who the winner is. Our final category in this segment is Social Media Tech Vendor of the Year. And the gold award goes to. Hi, I'm delighted to hear that Affinity Answers has won the award for MSME Martech Vendor of the Year. Thanks to Exchange for Media and the jury for this recognition particularly at this moment when businesses and industries look to recover lost traffic while identifying new prospects. Thanks to our client, Great Learning, for giving us the opportunity to boost their campaigns. And congratulations to the entire Affinity Answers team on this great achievement. Thank you. All right, moving on, let's find out the next category and the winner with this audiovisual. Can we have the AV, please? Martech is the future, and AI and VR and AR are really all the things that we are now depending on to make sure that our marketing campaigns are successful. So uh, this is a great move, uh, much needed in uh, today's day and time. So uh, actually, it's a great thing that you've done. Yes, absolutely. Some really, really great entries. And uh, if you've been in the room, you've seen that most of the jury kind of uh, confused about what to do on some of the categories. So some really great entries, great quality, especially for the first time. I think uh, you've got some really, really great entries. So. I'm really enjoying doing that. I'm learning a lot in the process. So uh, thank you. It's uh, it's actually a great uh, session that we're having. Well, not everybody can win. And uh, that doesn't in any way mean that uh, the person who didn't win is any less because uh, you know it's a process. There are analytics around how we do these things. But I think every single entry is fabulous. And I would encourage them to try again. I would encourage them. Uh, to carry on doing the wonderful work they're doing and congratulations on all that they've achieved. Thank you so much, Ms. Bhattacharya. You've just heard from one of our jury members, Ms. Swati Bhattacharya, Chief Communications and Brand Officer of the Charge Group. Thank you so much for those kind words to the winners and to those who couldn't make it this year. But don't worry, this is just the inaugural edition of the MarTech India Awards 2021. While I say that, do not forget to tweet to us using the hashtag. Moving forward to our second broad category, ladies and gentlemen, this is the use of MarTech. In this category, the first subcategory we're going to award is the best use of analytics. Can we have the AV, please? 
moving forward to our next broad category of the evening which is use of martech the first category in this segment is best use of analytics best use of productive analytics or intent technology the gold award in this category goes to and many congratulations to Pesa Bazaar. Moving forward to our next category, which is best use of MarTech for customer engagement. Really important one right here. Let's see who takes away the award. Our next award is for best use of MarTech for customer engagement. The silver award goes to And the gold award goes to so our big hearty congratulations to both the silver and gold award winner many congratulations to you moving forward ladies and gentlemen to our next category which is best use of martech for demand generation let's take a look at who takes away this award Next, we have the best use of MarTech for demand generation. And the gold award goes to. Hi, I would like to thank Exchange for Media and the jury members for awarding us gold for the best use of MarTech for demand generation for Ford India. Uh, you know, the problem statement given to us by Ford was to digitize their dealer network so that you know, the demand which is there on digital channels can be channelized and sent these dealers directly. Now to deploy this at scale is, is very very challenging because they have 300 dealers all spread throughout the country. So through our product spotlight we were able to build thousands of micro targeted campaigns which were able to capture this demand at a local level and channelize this demand to dealers directly without any uh, delay uh, or lag in uh, the capture of intent to actual conversation with the dealership. Uh, you know, when we deployed this at scale, we were able to bring efficiencies uh, which has helped us uh, get this award. Thank you and many congratulations to the winners. Guys, do not forget to keep tweeting using the hashtag E4M Martech India Awards and congratulate all our winners. Now, this platform, in fact, this event itself is a testimony to the way things are moving forward, how we are creating impact with different marketing strategies through events and rather with the best use of Martech for live events online or real world. And that is exactly which our next category is. Let's see who takes away the award in the best use of MarTech for live events online or real world. Can we have the AV please? please? Now, felicitating the category of best use of MarTech for live events online or real world. The bronze award in this category goes to And the silver award goes to. A big congratulations to both the winners. Yes, moving forward, we're going to our next category, which is the best use of virtual reality or artificial reality, the VR, AR. Let's take a look at who takes away this award. Can we have Devi, please? Next up, 
is the best use of VR or AR. The Bronze Award goes to and the Silver Award goes to Many congratulations to both the winners right here. Moving forward to our next category, which is the best use of artificial intelligence. Let's take a look at who's done this the best in the last year. Moving forward to our next category, best use of AI. Let's see who the winner is. Our next award is for best use of AI. The Bronze Award goes to There are two silvers in this category. The first silver award goes to And the second silver award goes to And the gold award goes to On behalf of the team at Hansos Equity, I would like to thank Extreme for Media and the esteemed jury members of the E4M Martech India Awards 2021 for the gold in the best use of AI category for Mahindra and Mahindra Auto. We at Hansos Equity are committed to provide Martech enabled connected customer experiences for brands and organizations. Thank you once again E4M for the honor. Thank you. Hi, I'm Shailesh Putran from Mahindra and Mahindra. I would like to take a moment here to thank Exchange for Media Martech Awards 2021 for this prestigious award. At Mahindra, we are committed to leverage the power of Martech for improving customer experience. My congratulations to both the teams at Mahindra and at Hansa Equity for winning gold for best use of AI. Thank you once again. Stay safe. Once again, our biggest congratulations to all the winners till now. What an amazing time that we are living in. We're using AI, VR, AR, and whatnot during these times. We are revolutionizing the marketing landscape. Moving forward, we are going to invite another jury member here. We're going to hear from Mr. Tanvir Singh Ubroy, Director, Agency Partnership and Sales, Google. Can we have the AV, please? Uh, firstly, I think thank you for the opportunity to be part of the jury here. Extremely innovative in terms of the award categories that have been set up and clearly gave an opportunity for all the uh, nominees to actually put up so they put their best foot forward with respect to the entries. We had some very, very innovative entries that really came in. And I'm uh, glad that we have a platform of this nature that Exchange for Media is providing for us to showcase some of the work that brands as well as partners are doing uh, on in the front of Martech. Well, for Google, obviously, uh, both marketing and technology pretty much form the DNA of our organization. And it, it was extremely heartening to see the diversity of entries that we actually saw today. Some of the categories were very, very closely contested, primarily on the back of the fact that they were very innovative, right? So there was some out of the box thinking, both when it came to communication, uh, as well as the usage of technology. And what we really appreciated, or I definitely did appreciate, is the blend that was tried that that most of the entrants really tried to form uh, during the course of their nominations, right? And highlighting the fact that they were not thinking in the reams of what they see day to day, but actually thinking beyond, was a definitely a, a very encouraging through the entries that we saw today. Well, uh, I think participation is the key. We had a reasonably high number of entries, which is great for the award, even this was the first phase of the award. Um, I Congratulations to all the winners. You truly, truly deserve having won what you have. Uh, keep innovating and we're hope, hoping for even stronger entries in the future. For those, those who didn't win, I would say don't get disappointed. The fact is that you were in the final shortlist of the entries 
and I'm glad that you got an opportunity to actually contest in an award of this nature. I'm sure you will develop technologies and communications which will be stronger in the years ahead. So keep innovating and uh, success will follow. Absolutely. Thank you, Mr. Tanvir Singh Uberoy. And of course, uh, take his word for it. Keep innovating and success will follow. Moving forward to the next category for the night, which is best use of marketing automation. Let's take a look at who takes away this award. Next up is the important award for best use of marketing automation. And the silver award goes to And the gold award goes to Hi everyone, I just want to express my heartfelt gratitude from Team Web Engage to the E4M team for organizing such a spectacular award and event which is the E4M Martech 2020. Uh, it also gives me immense pleasure to see that marketing technology is finally coming of age in India and uh, brands are realizing the importance of retention marketing. So we'll continue to help scale brands and educate them more on the retention marketing space. And uh, thanks once again to the entire team for recognizing Web Engage's efforts in building out a company to help brands grow faster. Thank you. Thank you and many congratulations to Randstad and Web Engage. Moving forward, ladies and gentlemen, do not forget to send out your best wishes and congratulatory messages using the hashtag E4M Martech India Awards. Moving forward, the next category is the best use of Martech for customer experience. Customer experience becomes the heart of anything that we do. And let's see who takes away this award for best use of Martech for customer experience. Our next award of the evening is for Best Use of Martech for CX. And the silver award goes to And the gold award goes to Hi everyone. Lakme has been at the forefront of creating the color cosmetics category in this country, making great products and giving the greatest experience to consumers at every touch point. As more and more consumers started shopping online, we realized that it was critical for us to translate that offline experience in the online world as well. And that's why we created Beauty Tech as a way to give consumers the same experience as we've always given in the offline stores and also personalizing the experience at each and every touch point. We as Team Lakme are super happy to get this award and we would continue on this journey to enhance every single consumer experience on Lakme in future as well. From a technology standpoint, what's worked really well for us has been a deep curation and a judicious selection of which interventions to apply. And once deployed, a focused drive towards ensuring maximum impact and an effective scale up. Once again, many thanks to Martech India and to Exchange for Media for this award. Many congratulations to our winners and I hope all of you are celebrating wherever you are. Moving forward to our next category, which is the best use of Martech for sales enablement. Sales has to be done to let the business grow. So here it is, the best use of Martech for sales enablement. Let's take a look at who the winner is. Next, we have the best use of MarTech for sales enablement, where there are two silver winners as well. The first silver award winner is... And the second silver award goes to... And the gold award goes to We 
we at Tata Daily Business Services always believe in customer centricity and transforming customer experience. With customer experience platform, we have virtualized product demo experience of customer in seamless manner. We are delighted to receive this award, which recognizes our efforts towards creating best in class customer experience. Thank you very much. In today's world, experience before you buy, a mindset is reshaping in customer for purchase of tech products. There is nothing more powerful than allowing a customer to understand, configure it by self and then experience the benefit of the product in their own setup and build the confidence that how it is going to work if they purchase this particular product or solution. Customer experience portal does just that. It allows the customer to understand the product thoroughly, configure it by themselves in their own setup, then experience it and build the confidence that how it is going to solve their daily business challenges or the issues they are facing. We are happy to be recognized with this award and it only reinforces our commitment to deliver transformational customer experiences. Thank you. Thank you and many congratulations once again to all our winners till now. Moving forward, I'd like to welcome another jury member here from whom we'd we'll hear about the jury process. So let's welcome Nachiket Deol, Head of Sales India, Double Verify. I think uh, with pandemic, uh, the way we do business has changed, right? And Matic is no longer an option, uh, but it's a necessity for businesses to adopt it. And uh, I'm really happy that Exchange for Media has taken this initiative to recognize the best of the work in Matic space, uh, which can uh, literally become a benchmark for uh, others in the industry to follow and will encourage uh, everyone uh, to adopt the technology uh, to uh, build better businesses in these trying times. It's impressive to see uh, the, the kind of work that's been produced here in India uh, and across so many uh, different categories. Right? Uh, it's not one uh, technology which has been followed, but uh, a use of multiple technologies right from uh, consumer engagement to demand generation uh, to virtual events uh, it's a brilliant uh, piece of work that's been produced, um, and I'm I'm really glad that India has uh, has has really uh, stood up to uh, the global brands uh, and 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 producing such an exemplary work. Uh, yes, uh, there is a lot to be done, uh, but I think we are on the right path, uh, and with all the bright minds in the industry that we have, uh, we should see more and more. Uh, superior work coming in in, in in coming months. I think everyone who has entered is a part of the elite list. It's not a uh, easy space to crack. Uh, it takes a lot and it takes a village to get Marek going. Uh, so my uh, my super congrats to all the winners, uh, winning or, uh, and as, as we discussed within the jury also, right? Winning and losing doesn't matter. Uh, all that matters is the intent uh, and the efforts that has gone behind developing something which is so new uh, and so unique for each brand and each organization. Uh, so I wish uh, uh, the very best uh, for everyone who is uh, planning to deploy Mardic solutions. Uh, take a cue from all these entries. Uh, this is really, really significant piece of work uh, that's been done. Uh, and my uh, congrats to all the winners. Thank you. Thank you so much, Mr. Diol, for sharing those thoughts with us. Moving forward to our next category, which is the best use of MarTech for social or influencer marketing. The big market, that is the influencer marketing. Let's see who takes away this award. The best use of MarTech for social or influencer marketing. Our next award is for 
बेस्ट यूज ऑफ मार्टेक फॉर सोशल और इन्फ्लुएंसर मार्केटिंग द ब्रॉन्ज अवार्ड गोज टू Again, we have two silver winners. The first silver award goes to And the second silver award goes to And the gold award goes to Thank you for the gold at the Martech India 2021 by Exchange for Media. I think Aage ki Soch was one of the first marketing campaigns post lockdown where we remotely coordinated, shot and executed the entire campaign. Little we did we know that this is going to be a norm so. So it to some extent worked like a trend setter. So a big congratulations to all the winners in the category of best use of martech for social or influencer marketing with that we're moving forward to the final award in the best use of martech here we have martech transformation or acceleration project of the year let's take a look at who the winner is our final award in this segment is for martech transformation acceleration project of the year and the silver award goes to and the gold award goes to thank you exchange for media and the jury for awarding us the marketing transformation project of the year award in the gold category i humbly accept this on behalf of the marketing automation team Uh, uh providing best in class customer experience has always been a key focus area for us at Tata Delhi Services and this project is an important milestone for us in that journey a great and consistent customer experience across various touch points and uh, various channels will differentiate us from the competition and make us the partner of choice for our customers many congratulations to the winners and While we move on to our next, I want to once again urge all of you to create the much-deserved buzz for all our winners of the Martech Awards 2021. Do not forget to use the hashtag E4M Martech India Awards. Moving forward, I'd like to welcome another jury member here. Please welcome Mr. Amit Raylan, Director and Co-Founder, M Filter It. Well, I think it's a. I would say, on a primary basis, it's a good initiative uh, from a marketing tech standpoint, and with digital bound to grow many fold. I think right now it is about twenty to twenty five thousand crores, and uh, essentially with a twenty twenty five percent CAGR, I think it's a great initiative. With tech, definitely will play a very very major role, and uh, navigating the tech for marketers and making it simple is a is something what. most of the industry should look for and navigating this challenge and putting up the right stack is the key what i feel and this would definitely help building up talent and also help building up the right companies in this space i think uh, that's how it should be and one of your colleague was saying almost about 29% of the media spends go to tech vendors so i mean it's a it's a great opportunity for all the entire ecosystem so i think the message is uh, i think uh, i think it's a marketing tech is is the future and it is important that uh, optimizations across the marketing tech is done and this would help us to help them to increase their reach towards the consumers and also help them in more effective communication and and elements and then more things will come as we go along
Thank you. Thank you so much, Mr. Rilan. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, we're moving forward to the last category of awards. Before we do that, I would just want to quote uh, Dr. Goldsmith, who said that you don't have to be a technologist. All you need to do is understand how technology influences the world. And this is what the next category is all about. This is the last leg of the awards, moving on to the next set of awards, which is the third broad category, which is industry and people. Recognizing some outstanding individuals in the space, Look out for these talents as we start with our first one, in-house marketing technologist of the year. Let's see who takes away this award. Our last and the prestigious segment of this evening is Industry and People. Now felicitating excellence in the category of in-house marketing technologist of the year. The Gold Award in this category goes to Bhuvna Subramaniam, Chief Marketing Officer, Randstad, India. Thank you so much, Evo team, for the Gold Award in the MarTech category. Marketing and technology are like peace in a pod. They go together without saying. As a CMO, one key part of the job is to help pick the right MarTech stack. It is fundamental to building a robust marketing strategy. In an increasingly complex environment, putting together the right set of tools and technology is very challenging. However, once that is done, it can help optimize the campaigns, improve the experience multifold, and therefore deliver the ROI. I'm thankful to my team at Transtech for supporting my digital forward concept that aligns with the, to the tech and touch vision of the organization. I'm thankful to my team in marketing for supporting that vision as well. Thank you once again, EFO team, for this recognition in the MarTech category. Congratulations to all the other winners as well. Thank you. Thank you and many congratulations to you, Bhuvna. Moving forward, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to the final award for the evening. So here, once again, urging all of you, if you haven't yet, go ahead and tweet using the hashtag E4M Martech India Awards and congratulate all the winners. If you are one of the winners, then do celebrate, put out those winning shots and join us in the celebration. Moving forward to the final award for the evening, which is the Martech Visionary of the Year. Let's take a look at who is the Martech Visionary of the Year. Can we have the AV, please? And finally, honoring individual achievement is the next award, MarTech Visionary of the Year. And the gold award goes to Projal Banerjee, Founder and Chief Product Officer, Ziotab. Hi, I'm Projal Banerjee, Founder and Chief Product Officer of Ziotab. I'm grateful to the judges and organizers of the MarTech India Awards 2021 for this incredible honor of MarTech Visionary of the Year. It's been a difficult 18 months and we are one of the fortunate few to have landed on our feet. I'd like to thank all my wonderful colleagues around the world who have been simply incredible. Team Zeotap for the win. Thank you and congratulations, Mr. Benerji. Moving forward, ladies and gentlemen, I want all of you to go ahead and congratulate all the winners. This is from all of us at E4M. We'd like to once again congratulate all the winners out there and those who couldn't make it as well. Thank you for your participation and for all the great work that you're doing in MarTech. Moving forward, this brings us to the end of the inaugural edition of Exchange for Media India MarTech Awards 2021. See you next year. Do not forget to stay safe, stay secure, and stay happy. Thank you so much. This is Khyati Kawaiho signing off. Till we see you next year. <laughs>